Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, how are y'all doing? This is Brandon Coin, and we're just coming in. It's May 14th, 2018, and this is your daily hash rates video. So I was just checking it out, and it looks like uh, everything is up. I'm still mining Ravencoin and Ethereum. I'm straight mining those right now. Oh, let me turn off nice hash for a second. Um, I have the GT1030 on Ravencoin and it's settled out around 37 cents a day. Uh, the GTX 1050s are right at 66 cents a day. The GTX 1050 Ti's are at 84 cents. Um, the 1066 gigs I have on Ethereum, they're at $1.18. Those also went up too. Um, a friend of mine, WMX99, actually is sending over a 1070, so I will have a, uh, a 1070 here soon. I know I haven't had one for ever up until now, but that's not going to be there for long. So, um, really looking to see how if that really cuts the gap between that 1080 and 1060. Um, and the GTX 1080 is at 247 a day from 235 on Ravencoin. Uh, the RX 560 is hovering around 77 cents from 73 cents, straight mining Ethereum. The RX 580 is at $1.70 a day from $1.62, also straight mining Ethereum. Um, and some people were asking about the pools that I use. For Ravencoin, I'm using Pickaxe Pro. And for Ethereum, I'm using Ethermine. Obviously, you can use your own pools if you want to. That's just what I set up with, and uh, I've had good luck, uh, good luck with them so far. So uh, if you wanted to look more in depth than that, here's the Satoshi per day over here on the side and the algorithm speed that I'm averaging. Oh goodness. Um, I'm, hold on. Let me turn that off. Oh my goodness. It, my phone just got signal. Sorry. Okay. So, and this is the algorithm speed that I'm averaging per cards. If you know anything about Ravencoin, you'll know that you will get higher and lower. So I just take somewhere in between, and that's what I've been using, and it's, it's coming really close, actually. So, now let's jump over to Amazon. I found a couple things that interest me. This right here, these were at $250. At $250, they don't excite me, but at $219, they're almost cheap enough to make it worthwhile. Um, this is basically like a knockoff. Octo miner. I think these actually came out before the Octo miner, so technically it's not a knockoff. But um, it holds six graphics cards, and I, th I want to say it looks like the spacing might be a little bit wider than the Octo miner. I'm not sure. It's got a built-in uh, processor, and the one thing I was looking at, it holds DDR3 laptop RAM, so a little bit cheaper laptop RAM. It can run off a standard ATX power supply. Um, and then it just uses Molex and SATA for the power for the motherboard. So a little different spin on things. Um, I was like really like awesome to see that they're prime, so you could get one of these things. Like I could get it by Wednesday, um, and it's Monday right now. So this is like some mining specific hardware that is um, available right away. Uh, it looks like it just got a couple USB ports and. Um, the uh, the land port and you'd be ready to go. I'm really wanting to buy one of these just to do a review on it and a build up. If anybody has one of these that's currently watching me, please comment down below. I'm gonna try to find it and pin it. Um, tell me like should I get it? Should I not get it? Is it a good deal? Is it junk? I don't know. I like it though. Um, now I was cruising over and I saw these GTX 1063 gigabyte cards. Um, and they're on sale for $229 and they'll be in stock May 19th, so about five days away. That's a pretty good price on some EVGA uh, 1060s. Like, I haven't seen them get down close to that $200 price range in a while now. And this is brand new out of the box. So, a uh, link for these will be down below in the description also, uh, along with that last motherboard. And I noticed uh, we have another motherboard deal going on. A lot of people have told me the ASRock H110 BTC Pro. Uh, that holds 13 graphics cards is an awesome motherboard for on simple miner or Linux um, I don't think you can actually hold 13 graphics cards on Windows without having to go and use some of the mining specific cards from Nvidia I don't know why that is um, I haven't dabbled into the the big like third or I haven't gone anything more than six cards per rig but um, that's what obviously that's what I'm looking towards in the future but 119 that's not bad because when you think about it you'd have to get That'd be over two of the six card builds, and let's see here. Um, here is a here's a 12 PCI 
this is a gigabyte board I'm always I always love my gigabyte stuff but 140 bucks from 179 so it seems to be a good deal on that one also and rounding out the competition my favorite one so far is the Z270P D3 I don't own one of these personally but a friend of mine has one and he said it's awesome I have the H110 the little brother version of this card um, and it does good but I really want to get one of these because it's got the full three um, PCI slot so you don't even need risers for your first three cards you can just slap them in there and then grow up to risers later on but these are on sale for 84 bucks so motherboards are actually there's a lot of motherboard sales but um, not so many sales on graphics cards right now so link for all this stuff that I just showed will be down in the description below and let's jump over to the Brandon Coin Reddit to try to find a rig of the day. Well, I've already found it, but if you're new to the channel and you want to get your rig featured at the end of a daily hash rates video, just go over to the Brandon Coin Reddit. Link will be down below in the description, and then click on make a um, a new text post, and you can add some little description about your stuff, and make sure to link some pictures in there. And yeah, so I'll hopefully see it but I really wanted to look at this one this is from Simon and he's got a 130 I think it was 130 1080 Ti mining rig look at this this thing you might you must not be able to like stand in front of this because it, it could like bake your skin off this has got to be like beyond hot or you got to be forcing air through this thing so hard it's ridiculous um, but by the way this is this is awesome I'm, I'm following you all right so let's go back where are we at okay um, so yeah thank you for sharing that and it's always awesome to see like some of the uh, the builds some of these builds are just ridiculous Pigeon mining pigeon coin. Oh, you're destroying the pigeon coin network if you're doing that. Oh my goodness. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna drool over this a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video so y'all don't have to drool with me. Um, you can do it on your own time. But thank you guys for watching. This is Brandon on Brandon Coin, and I will see y'all later. Adios.